Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Well, I'm on a bit of a downer today. I've, uh, it's uh, nine o'clock in the morning and I've watched a Billy Joe Saunders fight three times now and sadly we are now looking at a fighter that is in decline and when I say in decline I mean in decline uh, it's not good what I've seen from Billy Joe tonight uh, the guy is fighting I can't even pronounce his name but he shouldn't even be in that ring with him they dug him up and Billy's got to be dispatching these these kind of people now it's all very well going undefeated but when we look at the Billy Joe Saunders resume, I mean, who has he really beat? I mean, we're looking at a kid here, right? He's 30 and three month old, right? So he's into his 31st year. His, his first professional fight was February 2009. So he's an 11 year professional right 11 year professional now yeah fair enough he beat Andy Lee he's a he's a uh, he, he's a world champion he's beat Lemieux a world champion but that's it that is it from the Billy Joe Saunders he's an elite fighter that is it a bit like Tyson Fury he's beat Cunningham and Vladimir there is two world title wins. That's it. Nobody dare say a word though. None of you YouTubers, dare you? None of you. Do you know why? Because Billy's the type of guy to come around and knock on your door and go berserk or probably uh, cause you some grief. But we've got to all start speaking the truth. Billy Joe Saunders, best days are behind him. I do not want to hear... Dominic Ingle, who's trying to rinse as much as he can out of the situation. Or Eddie Earn talking about Billy Joe Saunders fighting at 160. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. I do not want to hear it. Billy Joe Saunders has not fought at 160 for two years. And if he fights again, it'll be May. And it'll be two and a half years since he's fought at that weight. I don't want to hear it that Billy Joe Saunders is a 160 fighter. Jesus Christ, a couple of weeks ago they were talking about him winning belts at 175. Do me a favour. We're talking here about a kid that's possibly wasted his talents like Frankie Gavin. But he's managed to make himself a millionaire. On the back of what wins though, I mean, Andy Lee and Lemieux. Is that what Billy Joe Saunders is going to dine out on? Two wins over world champions. Is that it? Come on, give me some more names on a resume. Give me some more names. For example, Andy Lee points win. Mandatory decision. Artur Okovov, a 16 and 1 guy. That was life and death. People had him losing. Willie Monroe, unanimous decision. David Lemieux, unan un unanimous decision. Shafar Isufi, unanimous decision, but he started getting caught. That's at 168 against a guy I've not heard of. And now we're talking Marcelo Esteban Casores. Come on. Life and death. Life and death. Right, with a five foot nine super middleweight, life and death. And let's have it right, the guy that he beat before he fought Billy Joe Saunders. Let's have a look at the guys that he beat before them. Right, oh my god, this is shocking this. I'm just gonna read you out his last six. Murkoff Manquakoi, eight, six and one. Christian Rodriguez Cerati, nine and one. Davi Elisiquisi, 14, 6 and 1. 
Basilo Silva, 24 and 14. Carmelito de Jesus, 18 and 6. And he's just fought somebody end of September this year, a German guy two months ago called, oh sorry, sorry, a guy, I don't know where he's from, but his name's German Ignacio Peralta, 7 5 and 5. Right? Out them six guys, three of them were stoppages and three of them were points wins. Oh my god. He's just gone to points with that 7 and 5 and 5 guy. Oh. My. God. And he's in with Billy Joe. And Billy Joe's just gone life and death with him. Are you telling me Billy Joe Saunders down on one of them judges' scorecards by two rounds going into 11th? Is going to beat Canelo? Are you going to blame that on a bit of jet lag? Do me a favour. Right? His punch output was down, he was getting caught more than ever in his career and he was taking breathers, that is the first signs of a fighter in decline, now we already saw him getting hit more than ever before in his last fight, right. don't tell me about David Lemieux, do not tell me about David Lemieux, because David Lemieux was two years ago, Two years ago. Come on. Come on, let's start talking proper here. Let's start talking boxing here. David Lemieux was two years ago. Come on. Jesus. Don't start giving me this crap. Two years ago, David Lemieux. Come on. I've just seen it with my own eyeballs. It's a waste of talent. We're looking at a kid here who could have been Ray Leonard, Joe Calzaghe. He could have been in that bracket. Yeah, he's undefeated, 29-0. and 0, In stop 14 of them. Well done. But come on, who's he got on his record, man? They're all B-plus guys, aren't they? Andy Lee and Lemieux, Eubank and John Ryder. Nick Blackwell, come on. Is this, is this the... the, the it, oh. We've got all these people on social media like Boxing Social and IFL and Sky Sports Eddie Earn. They've all been bigging him up, giving him the big G up. But the reality is you've just seen it. The hype doesn't warrant what he's achieved. Now I'm a massive Billy Joe Saunders fan. I've been flying the flag for him, but... He's missed, the, look, I put a video out just over a year ago and it said, has Billy Joe Saunders missed the boat when he was shifting all that weight? You've just seen it for yourself. He has missed the boat. And what's next for him now? Well, Eddie Hearn's going to try and put him in with Canelo and he'll probably get beat and then he'll look to match him with the Eubank fight and try and get two fights out of that, try and go for a trilogy. But you'd have to say Eubank beats him now, wouldn't you, on points? You'd have to say that, wouldn't you? He's not been a middleweight for two and a half year. He was a middleweight two years ago. He's not going to fight now while May, April, May. I swear to God, he'll be two and a half year not fighting at middleweight. If they want to fight him at middleweight in May, it will kill him. And, the, and all, the, all the rest of them will be licking the lips. I swear to God, honestly, it's a waste of talent. Yeah, he's a millionaire and all that, but... These last two years have took its toll on him. Two years a long time in boxing, let me tell you. A long, long time. Go speak to Liam Cameron at Sheffield. Right, he's been out at game 18, 19... He's been out at game 19 months. It's a long, long time in boxing, two years. He's wasted his talents. So, I'm not going to say he's on skid row because he's loaded, isn't he, Billy? But he could have been, like I just said... The Carl Zaggy, he could have been in that bracket. Ten wins over world champions. But all these YouTubers were putting him in that bracket. But the reality is the proof in the pudding. To beat Andy Lee and Lemieux. There is world champion wins. If you want to count Eubank as one with IBO, you can. So we're going to give him three out of your two and the jury out. That's it. John Ryder's not a world champion. Nick Blackwell's not a world champion. Man, Willie Monroe ain't a world champion. Look, they've all been C and B plus guys. He's 40. He ain't got an elite win. Billy knows he's not got an elite win. 
Look, it's been Billy's been shouting about Canelo, hasn't he, for five years and Triple G. He's been nowhere near them. He's been nowhere near Triple G and Canelo. Now, probably might want it now. Probably might want to get out of the sport now, but we're looking at a kid here who's got everything in life, a family, he's got money, cars, properties, a lot. But he's got no dedication to the sport. He didn't look in shape. And I don't want to hear Dominic Kingle going on about him making 160 and, and Eddie Hearn saying there's fights down the line for him and all that. All they're bothered about is getting paid. Billy knows that. He's not stupid. Dominic Kingle's a businessman. So is Eddie Hearn. They want paying. Eddie wants his 20%. Dominic wants his 10%. They are businessmen. It's business. Billy's a commodity to him, isn't he? But... It's over for Billy now as an elite fighter. He never even really got there, did he really? He showed glimpses of what he can do, but he hasn't got an elite win. He's not got a boot on his record or a Pascal, has he? He's not got them kind of wins on his record or a Groves. Do you know what I mean? You know, undefeated guys there, what frotch has got on his record. He's not got them sort of people on his CV. Not got them. He's got to go back to the drawing board now and have a look at himself. I don't know where he goes from here now, but I see Eddie Earn putting him in with Canelo next. They're not going to put him in with another one of these who he's just fought. Or an Akavoff or a, or, a, or a Carlos Kickabout. They're not going to do that in case he gets licked. They're not going to do that in case he gets beat. So what they're going to do, they're going to, go, they're going to hype him up. They're going to try and draw Canelo in. That's what they're going to do. And they're going to let him off at least then and let him just behave like he normally does to sell the fight. But as far as I'm concerned, Billy Joe Saunders didn't reach elite status. He didn't reach it. And it's a shame, you know, and, and now he's just going to be fed to wolves. So my advice to Billy is get out now while you're undefeated, Bill. You've made your money. Don't embarrass your Senate sport no more, mate. Straight talking. Guts me to say it, but... It'd be interesting to see how many more YouTubers want to just tell it straight like this. But that were embarrassing from Bill, that. That were embarrassing on an embarrassing night for British boxing. Peace out.